Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to work on this little push mower. I picked it up off the side of the road. It was thrown away in the garbage. We're going to see if we can get it running. So let's get started. Okay, the tools we're going to need for this job. It's a 3 8 socket. Half inch socket. Flathead screwdriver. A Phillips screwdriver. And a ratchet with an extension. First thing we'll do, remove the air filter, flathead screw, and 3 8 socket. Take the small bolt out in the front. Socket. Take this long bolt from the side. Then just gently pull and it should release. Unhook your linkage. Got your carburetor and gas tank off. Next, we'll pour the gasoline out into a fuel safe container. Next, we'll take the Phillips screwdriver and remove these five screws. Carburetor should just come right up. Pull your old gasket off. Once you get the gasket cleaned off it, this will be your part number for our gasket and diaphragm kit. Comes with two gasket, diaphragm. Diaphragm will go on the bottom. Gasket goes on top. Install your carburetor. And then your screws. Snug them up. They do not need to be torqued down. Tighten them too tight, you'll break the plastic. Reinstall your crankcase vent hose. Now it's time to reinstall it back to the mower. All right, next, <clears throat> if there's a rubber O-ring and a snap ring, pull that off, that goes on your carb. Rubber O-ring goes in first, and your snap ring. Place your linkage back into the hole. Your crankcase vent tube and gently push it on. Three eighths bolt in the front. Pinch bolt on the side. Now 
So this mower has two springs for the linkage. And this is how they are attached. You install your air filter. I'm using a new one. Flathead screwdriver. Snug it up, don't torque it. folks perfectly good run the lawnmower i hope this video helps if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section thanks for watching